this is our first video blog. <coughs> get out of the driveway and get going down the road here. Try to get headed off to Buffalo or whatever. So this is Tennessee Dan Scuba Man. Friday. About 29 degrees. Cold. Didn't warm up the vehicle. So it's going to be a cold start. Yep, there's the neighbor's dog. Sweet as could be. Scares everybody to death. Just a big old pup. Anyway, hopefully you ain't getting all fogged up because I brought it from the inside to the outside. And we'll learn as we go. Well, I can't play no music because, uh, put these up on YouTube, they say you can't monetize them. So there won't be no YouTube music for this video. Now you might get a little quivers or about that. It's all right, it's good for your first thing in the morning. <coughs> of course, I don't know when you're gonna be watching this. One thing I've noticed is that uh, you put one of these up like this in a vehicle, it looks like you're going 120 about every time you accelerate just a little bit. I don't know what I don't know what makes that. Anyway, going to the big J O B. Of course, every morning when you get up, if you look on Facebook or some of them social networks, mostly Facebook. You see this uh, garbage about Trump or one of the presidential candidates, Cankles. Cankles, Trump, Sanders, one of them. <coughs> Notice Kasich, Carson, they don't hardly ever make a social media. Not what I've not what I get to see. Might have to do with my circle of friends, huh? Anyway, see if I can't get this thing starting to warm up. I'll tell you, it's cold in here. Oh yeah, we're getting up there now. what you want to do is run down through here with no lights on so nobody can see you pull out hit somebody or get hit <coughs> anyway I was talking about thumb power a minute ago let's see what was it I was reading uh, there earlier <coughs> anyway Oh, I know what I was thinking about. Can't get it off my mind about that idiot Trump wanting to build a wall between us and Mexico and then uh, make Mexico pay for it. Well, I got to thinking, who's gonna build that wall? Is he gonna make Mexico build it? Well, if Mexico's gonna build it, who are they gonna use for laborers? So that's okay to make Mexico use their own people which are underpaid and overworked to build this wall to keep them out. Well, something tells me that they're not going to build a very good wall and it's going to have all kinds of passages. <laughs> oh Lord. Thump don't think too far beyond what he just gaps his mouth open and spits out. 
What was it? He's, he's, now he's taking on the Pope. Well, in a roundabout way he is. He's taking on everybody. He's like a uh, he's like an alienated guy at work, you know. He's gonna take everybody out. So I figure if you got an alienated guy as president, what's it gonna do for our country, huh? He's gonna make everybody do stuff. He's he's gonna be a president uh, a presidential bully. So he's gonna make everybody do everything. That's really gonna go over there. It's very diplomatic. He's gonna make everybody. Well, him and that Kim John, whatever his name is, uh, Kim John Dipstick, North Korea, have their first interaction. A bit about like as, as excited as everybody else was when uh, that ex Chicago basketball wedding dress wearing guy ended up getting up there and <clears throat> playing basketball and advising Kim John or whatever his name is. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, you know where that's going. <clears throat> Every now and then you get to see some uh, pretty wild events going uh, going to and from work. Railroad yard 
they, I don't know how far down they dug and all that stuff. Probably not too far. But anyway, it came out of the old Southern Railway uh, repair yard. They dug it up because uh, they were wanting to build a, a new building on it, which they got done. But yeah, this county back here I just come out of. I just changed counties. I went from uh, Anderson County into Knox County. Yeah, Anderson County took their waste. Yeah, bring it on. Dump it right here. Huge big old gorge back there. Right before you get up on the hill to the trailer park. But sure as the world, yep, they dumped all that dirt in there. Didn't cover it. Didn't have a liner. Nothing else. Didn't do any of the stuff you'd normally do before you dump waste somewhere. They just accepted a big old wad of money and said, yeah, dump it here. Yep. And we used to make fun of places uh, in Alabama and Mississippi and places like that that accept dump waste. And here we're, we're accepting it from the uh, next neighboring county. Well, I just thought of something funny. would be kind of funny if... Uh, here I am driving along, talking, carrying on, and trying to make a vid blog. Don't realize it, but the battery runs out on the camera. That, that'd be pretty good. Well, I might think about plugging it in the next time I do one of these so the battery won't run out. But anyway, surely the battery will last 30 minutes. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to drive to the WORK. I don't know why I call it work anymore. We hardly ever do a thing. Hardly ever hit a lick. Spend the first two hours comparing notes what we've done the night, the night before. And then, uh, of course, we do our devotions every morning. Which, that's an absolute necessity for my wandering brain. Thank goodness we got it to do, though. Yep, then we check emails to make sure that uh, we're staying abreast with uh, everything going on in the workplace and in town and around town and in the state. Seven thousand on it now, so 
I ain't had it that long. I looked the other day, I think I've had it about, see, since September, and this is uh, February. I ain't too bad. Anyway, we're going through the uh, gorgeous community of Powell slash Norwood before we get to K Town, Knox Patch, The Ville. This is where, uh, like most communities now, you got Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's all crammed together here in the neighborhood. Of course, everybody's got to have a Waffle House down south. We got us a Waffle House. All we got is a homeless guy standing in the road, and he's got his suitcase with him. Well, I feel sorry for him. Especially in that, uh, well, it says it's 34 degrees right here. That's still colder than crap to be outside standing around in no sunshine because this ridge is blocking it. Anyway, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? We've done put the thump down. Oh, let me tick off some people real good. Let's talk about Obama a little bit. Everybody just, just wants to gouge the crap out of Obama. Well, let me just give you my take on a little bit of... Uh, Obama that I got. One, I think he's going to go down as being one of the uh, most intelligent presidents we've ever had. Yeah, I just made a bunch of people mad right then. Well, anyway, when Obama took office, he took over for Cheney and Bush. Now, if you're really a sensible person, think about it. Little George was our president, and Dick Cheney, that grouchy wad, was a vice president. I think he, let's see, what else he done? He shot people in the face. Anyway, he's so angry, there's no telling how many sets of false teeth he's busted trying to grit his teeth. But anyway, here's my take on Obama. Yeah. I can't give him no credit because he put Kankles in. Uh, if you don't know who Kankles is, that's Bill's old lady that's running for president right now. He put Kankles in. 